Shorty said she coming with a bag for the sale for the for the young coming with a bag for the sale for the for the young coming with a bag for the sale for the for the young coming with a bag for the for the for the shorty said she coming with a bag. Hey my loves and welcome back to the channel if this is your first time hi my name is Deborah Bums and you're welcome to the channel in this video I'm basically just going to be sharing with you guys how to take your own fire Instagram pictures all by yourself using your mobile phone with no Bluetooth remote all you need is an app the app just helps you take the pictures so yeah <laughs> so let's just get right into it if you are interested okay so the first thing um that i want to say this video is going to be in two phases one is planning and two is execution so in terms of planning what do you need to plan for so in the planning phase you need your outfit you need a location and you need to look out for the weather because these three things determine the quality of your content and um, it all depends on the kind of content or pictures or vibe or aesthetic that you're going for so in terms of your outfits you can have a range if you want to batch create you can have a range of outfits all you need to do is just prep them get them ready and you're set to go and then you pack them maybe in a box or something and then you move to your location um but yeah that's it for outfit i have personally i have my outfit figured out which i would show you right now okay so i'm gonna show you guys the fit for this this is me just trying to check out and see what i want to use for this shoot um but i already knew that i was gonna have this i think this is called a bodysuit the ones where you can buckle on there yeah so this is the bodysuit it's white it is sleeveless but i'm pairing it with this jacket which i'm not sure i'm feeling right now but i have a second option which i would check out in a bit but this is yeah i already knew i was wearing the white um bodysuit with these denim because yeah I think I've showed you guys this in one of my vlogs before, but I've never actually worn it. I still have the tag. <laughs> I actually still have the tag. And I got this sometime in October, but I've not worn it. But yeah, we're gonna wear it today. And this is what we look like. Um, this is it. So this is it. But um, yeah, this is the next jacket. I am so confused on what to do. Guys, my hair, don't worry, I'm going to fix my hair. She needs to be straightened. But this is the other one and this is this one. But this is what this one is looking like. Can you guys see from my mirror? Let me just close this. But this is what the other one looks like. This is what we are looking like. I also plan to pair this with some glasses when we get there hopefully it all goes right <laughs> but yeah it looks looks really good um but yeah okay, so in terms of location i personally like to go for like a like a neutral background a plain background nothing too busy going on in the background that's really what i like to go for now your outfit needs to complement your background your outfit needs to complement the location for the content so yeah make sure it's not too busy it's not too choked and you just get like a clean content okay so that's why i personally like to go for just neutrals or um, plain backgrounds with nothing too busy going on behind um, but yeah so the last thing is you need to do this in a very favorable weather <laughs> preferably when the sun is out because personally i've been wanting to do this video for like the past three days but it just keeps raining and it was raining today but right now it's sunny again so yeah chronicles of a content creator or you wait for the weather to be favorable but um basically that's it and um so yeah in terms of the weather i would advise you use like or you do this on a sunny day because that way mm, you get the best out of the content um yeah basically that's it so you plan your outfits you plan the location and then you plan the weather everything is to you know go together except you're going for like a more moody feel or you want to get like nighttime nighttime content then you would film or take the pictures at night but i personally want a daytime content and it's best to do that when the sun is out because yeah better lighting better quality 
okay in terms of your equipment you need just three basic things which you probably already have one your mobile phone you can use anything if you have a camera you can actually still use that but if you have a mobile phone android iphone whatever phone it is it can work because currently i use my iphone x and this is the content that i have taken with my iphone x before and this is what this is how bright it looks because it was paired with good lighting sunlight so yeah anything you can you can work with anything that you have um so that is it for your mobile phone you also need a very sturdy tripod because you're going to be taking these pictures by yourself so you want a tripod where you can set it up and you know it is sturdy it is strong it's not going to you know fall off when the wind comes or something but yeah you need a tripod you need your mobile phone and then lastly you need the app so the name of the app is lens buddy and it's basically an app that just takes your pictures for you it's your buddy for content your content buddy basically so um yeah i've used it to film or take this content before and that's what we're going to be using to take the content today as well so yeah that's basically it about what you need for your equipment so i'm just going to put like a quick sprinkle sprinkle of how to use the app <laughs> just so that you guys can you know um get familiar with the app as well okay, and so then we're gonna go on to the app which is lens buddy open that up and this is what the app looks like so you have a prep button right here that allows you to um prepare and gives you time to you know get yourself in position make your first pose so you have different um different timing 10 seconds 15 seconds up to one minute so it gives you time to prepare to take your shots um and then this is the um timer so you can pick any one that you want and then you have like the number of photos that you want it to capture in one moment so this shows you the number of photos that you can take per time for example you can take five pictures 10 pictures and you just select which one that you want or you just do until it stops okay and then you have different modes you can take like normal photo you can take um like portrait mode and then you can also take live photo and uh, if you want to take a video as well it's going to record a video of the entire photo shoot you have an option to prioritize video and reduce photo quality but we don't want that so that needs to not be checked and um yeah so that's pretty much it um about this you have flash so you can have your flash off you can have your flash on you can put it on auto like you just need to explore the app and find what works for you if you want to show the grid you can put it on the grid and show your grid so it's pretty much like your normal you know camera but the app really just helps you um to take the pictures without if, if you don't have a bluetooth remote and all of that you have different um aspect ratio and yeah so that's pretty much it about the app you have the settings which you can always go on to and yeah so all you need to do i'll show you guys how to actually just use the app okay so now to show you guys how this actually works all you need to do is just tap on that button it's gonna count down um depending on what you want like how many seconds you want it to count down to give you time to walk to or you know like get in position and then it starts taking your pictures and it's pretty much that easy it's pretty much that basic take your pictures and just change your style and that's it as well and then we'll go on to execution phase which is basically where we execute and yeah and how we film and take the content which is going to be outside so yeah a little bit of practical so basically in terms of prep right now i am prepped i have my location set up i have an idea of my location i've gone there i've seen it i have an idea of the location i the weather is good now so i need to start heading out before it starts raining again and my outfit is set i have this which i will show you guys i think i've showed you guys already but um the outfit is set so the makeup is done i've done my makeup i have done my hair stretched it out straightened her out and we are good to go but yeah that's pretty much it about how to take your own instagram pictures now let's just go out and take them <laughs> okay so yeah okay so we finally arrived at the venue this was not the initial venue this is just me switching you know my sneakers into my heels but this was the final venue that we settled for i had a friend who was with me to support me and help me and everything and um the initial venue that we had 
um, the sun was not heating on that particular location so we're backing the sun and that's because of the timing so with the sun you know the sun sets and rises different angles whatever but um <laughs> so yeah you need to kind of time what time or like get a timing on when the sun is going to be heating at that particular location so that you get the sun on you if that makes sense so this is me now trying to set up my tripod so get out your tripod once you're ready get out your tripod your phone needs to be in land um in portrait mode rather so your phone needs to be in portrait mode this was me trying to like analyze the sun and you know know where exactly the sun is hitting and the sun was just going like going and coming or like it was just getting shady at some point but you can see how bright this venue is and this was me just trying to get like the perfect angle i wanted the white wall because um i had a lot of colors going on with my outfit so i had blue jeans like blue denim and then i also had my camo jacket which was green and i just felt like that was already too many colors so i needed you know like a plain background that i could use to complement the outfits so that it doesn't look too tacky and busy right and then yeah so this was now me taking the picture so for this pictures it was taken by someone i'm going to show you guys how i actually took the next set of pictures this is because at this point my camera was almost crushed by a car it was a busy street and i just got fed up and got frustrated and i was like you know what just use your camera take my pictures and i'll find another venue for the content for youtube and yeah but this is just me posing and i'm going to show you guys in the next set of clips how i actually you know stand and pose to take my content okay so this is where i get to actually show you guys how i take my own pictures by myself because as you can see i have my tripod with my mobile phone right in front of me and um, this is the outfit that we went for outfit details would be in the description box so check out the description box for the bag details everything and um yeah so this is just me um at this venue this was the best that i could find um even though the background is a bit busy but I was able to blow it out and it looks pretty good in pictures and um, yeah so the Sun is facing me and this is just me um, just you know <laughs> playing around with my poses and um, what I do to pose for pictures oh <laughs> you guys my phone literally fell like five times I'm not I'm not kidding because I underestimated the wind this day and I did not come out with my, my other tripod <laughs> I didn't come out with the more sturdy tripod I came out with the light one because that other one was heavy um, but anyways um yeah we move like I did I kept you know going back to get my content regardless um, so yeah crossed legs is one thing that I like to do and I always like to look away most times um, if you're someone who is not very confident in front of the camera you can always look away and do like an off guard you know pose you don't always have to look at the camera lens you just anything is fine to be honest just do anything yeah crossed legs you can stay on one side lean to one angle just like this um you can also just stay with your two legs not crossing but you know like one um a little bit before the other one i don't know if that makes sense but um yeah you can take side angles personally i know my angles you wouldn't see me you know bending down to take a picture because i don't like that kind of pose um for my content you won't see me bending down squatting to take a picture nope because that's pretty much not what i like so i know my angles and um i just try to like complement that if that makes sense so i know my angles and that's what i usually which is go for so standing poses i hardly ever like squats you know and things like that but if you guys want like an actual how to pose tutorial like how to pose for instagram pictures um basically giving you guys um different ideas on how to pose then let me know down in the comment section i would really love to do that because i feel like that one would be more detailed 
um, than this video but um yeah like I said just cross your legs do anything that feels comfortable look away for a bit um, and just freestyle it to be honest and you should be fine um, you don't have to overthink this content creation thing um, take as much pictures as you can before you leave the venue and while the Sun is still shining <laughs> so yeah you really want to um, take your time at the same time I was really moving fast <laughs> That was the third time you guys i'm telling you my phone fell five times <laughs> my phone has fallen like five times today wow <laughs> but anyways um you want to be calm and you know take your time to take the content um so that it doesn't come out blurry okay so when you have a pose you pause for like two three seconds um, let the camera capture that pose before you change just so that it doesn't come out blurry if that makes sense and Yeah, that's pretty much how to take your pictures by yourself and how to pose if you want more details Let me know down in the comment section and yeah I've just finished my content. I'm so excited Everybody was staring at me, but we made it work <laughs> <laughs> 